Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Fashion Photo Review. Can you feel the UK edition. The looks today are based on weird science, and I think this is a very Raja challenge. I think mm -hmm. this is a very. I like a challenge that involves things that are not only intellectual but also microscopic. Like science. And if you want to join in on the fun, make sure you tune in to RuPaul's Drag Race UK every week on Wow Presents Plus. Dot com. com. Mm -hmm. And check the link below to see if it's available in your territory. Let's toot and boot some looks. Okay. To the stage, we bring blue hydrangea. Oh, bitch. And it opens and shuts. Next level shit. Oh, that's a two. That, my dears, is a a okay, that's shoot. Oh, you know why? It is a direct reference to me, my darlings. Nobody did a and one-eyed look ever on RuPaul's Drag Race history, other than. Who? Me? Well, it was so many years ago that it was, there wasn't many before you. My name's Sutan, also known as Raja. No, but you were the first. It's alien, it is interesting, it is cool, it is very well executed. I love the combination of everything. Two. <laughs> oh, my hair. Next we have bag of chips. Um, I don't like this at all. Again, there's that thing that where um, Davina DeCampo did with the red, where it's just like a block. There's, it's missing something. Every time you want to be edgy, you got to color in your whole forehead. Covering your forehead in one color does not equal editorial and interesting anymore. The boot actually is the most interesting part of that outfit. But it's weird that the paint goes all the way down, like onto her nose. Mm. It just looks. I would, I now would. it looks lazy. I think it's fine. I don't. I don't see anything really that terrible with this whole look. I think it's okay, but it's just like, come on. Yeah, it's not. No, it's a boot. It's a. It's a beautiful silver boot. Next to the stage, we bring Cheryl Hole. I'm into it. And it says, in the future, we can no longer breathe out of our mouths, so we have to breathe out of our belly buttons because of climate change. Is I don't know if that's even the future. I know some bitches that do breathe out of their, out of their belly buttons. I, you sent me a video of a woman smoking out of her <laughs> Okay, Cheryl Hole is breathing out of her hole. Um, I love this. Look. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the side pony. I love and the, the tiered. It's a tiered pony. Oh, Do you see that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very good. Love it. Love the makeup. I love the colors. I love the, the, the that cyborg with kind it. of. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It feels cyborg. I like the tubing that kind of makes it feel like medicine, kind of, you know, biological. Biological. She's biological. Yeah, I love this. This look for Cheryl Hole is an absolute toot for me. In fact, I would toot it through my belly button. Toot. All right, Miss Something Wong. Something Wong. This better be something fierce. Let me have a look at this. Okay, she's giving me like Britney Spears. Yeah, it's very Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. Oops, I did it again. It's supposed to be this whole classic cyborg. surgery cyborg thing. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's nice. There's something missing. Something missing. Something missing, like uh, like a, a cooler outfit. Maybe a cool cloak, maybe making a full cat suit. I don't know, I just think it's very, very basic. And then with that one special effect of removing her face is just pretty much not enough for me. See, what I would have liked, if she wants to go with the leotard, mm -hmm. in a shade of beige or nude oh. that's very articulated, like, it's mm -hmm. dart and there's a breast and mm -hmm. then there's maybe a little bit pop out over the hip mm -hmm. to where it, it, she's doing that whole like, oh look, I'm naked, but it's like futuristic looking. Yeah, it's a boot for me. It's not that, it's not like, I'm not losing my mind over this. No, uh, the, make, the makeup's beautiful, the hair's great. 
but. Something missing. Next we have Davina De Campo. And she is a sparkly, mossy, plant-human cross-hybrid creature. I am insanely in love with this. I love the aquatic sort of theme to it. Yeah. I'm into it. The color scheme is really, really, truly beautiful. Those bubbles are fantastic. Amazing. They're like crazy boils or something on her body. It I looks love... like they're gonna burst. Mm-hmm. Like they're like, like we're gonna watch it burst and another one's gonna pop up. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's really cool. Neat. I love the shoes that have been covered to sort of match the outfit. It is very cool. I'm gonna give this look a toot. Toot. Yes, Davina De Campo. Next we have Crystal. I love this. Me too. It looks post-apocalyptic. post apocalyptic post Yes. Yes. It looks like say. she survived some sh Mm -hmm. She's mad about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. If you survived an apocalypse, wouldn't you be mad? No. I would be mad. Everyone is gone and you're still here, bitch. Take me too. I don't get these people who are like trying to like prepare for a, an apocalypse. Like, just go. Let's go. That's how I Did you say everyone is gone? Everyone's gone. You're the only one left. Honey, she crazy ass muff zombie. She got teeth coming out of her teeth, and I am into it. These prosthetics, the mouth stretcher, there's something kind of Marilyn Manson about it, and there's the grinding of the metal against her mm -hmm. arm, her her, it's, it's, you know, it's cool. It is a performance piece, and that's what I like about it. Yeah. I like, I like queens to show on the runway that they can perform, even if they're just walking down the runway and having extra teeth coming out of their teeth. I like it. Toot. I love it. I love this look so much. It's clever, it is thought out, and it is an actual toot for me. Love it. Rather than the fake toots that I give most often. So what, is, what does a fake toot look like, or sound like? When you go, Raven, this outfit's great. It's, it's a toot. It's a toot. Next we have, to the stage, we bring the Vivian. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, it's very, it's kind of Whoville. The way, with whatever she did over. She's a Grinch? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's very, it's, it's cool. Uh -huh. I like the face. The rest of it looks. Um, Great. You hate it? I don't care for it. No. I, and I really wish that the shoe was either a boot or that bodysuit went all the way down into the shoe. I'm to kind of keep it continuous. Yes, because she's supposed to be a tree trunk. Mm -hmm. And there's leaves, you know, plants and foliage growing all over her. There's something about it that looks unfinished to me. But this here, that's good. It's good work. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna say that about three quarters or maybe even two thirds of this outfit is successful. Honestly, she looks like a plant-based who? Whoville Lana Del Rey. Oh. Like she's a plant-based alien who's gone to a music festival. Yeah, she gets a toot. It's a toot. It's a toot. Trend alert! Body suits. Body suits. Suits that fit the body. Oh, your body looks great in that suit. Oh, your body is so suitable. Mm. Mm. Our top two, two of the week, week is blue hydrangea. I love it. I love it. I love. I love this look. I love. Blue. Love it. She gets love, top two of the week because she looks like me, but like yes. better, like a thousand times. Just younger, millions of years younger. And do not forget, Thursdays at noon on WOW Present Plus, you can tune into an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. <laughs> <laughs>